Hi friends, welcome back to the homestead. On today's agenda is to get back on the garden tunnel and finally get the chicken wire around the bottom of it to keep the rabbits and stuff out. I don't know if it keep uh, moles out, but it will definitely, should definitely keep rabbits out. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use uh, air stapler and hopefully it'll go fast. Never does when I say that, but <laughs> we'll have to see. Well, something happened to our cat, and he's real sore, and we're not sure what it is. And there's no visible marks on him, and um, but his, his back end is real sore. So we put him in the carrier, and we took off and started heading to uh, the veterinarian. And discussing it on the way, we didn't get too far. We decided that uh, there's no swelling, and there's no marks on him, anything like that. So. You know, he's a city cat, and he's heavy and out of shape, and he did get in a, in a little bit of a scuffle with another critter, but there's not a mark on him. So we think maybe he's just sore. He might have run into something and, and uh, bruised something. So we changed our minds and decided to bring him back and just let, it ride, let him ride out the weekend, see how that goes. But it's kind of a God thing. When I got back, we went to go start on the... Uh, garden tunnel with the chicken wire. We were going to wrap it with chicken wire today um, and realized that the staples uh, for the staple gun and the um, the staples for the landscape fabric we couldn't find the bag anywhere. Looked in the car, we looked in all over through the RV and the garage, everywhere. So I'm going to have to go back to Lowe's and see if I can come up with it there. I called them and they said that they didn't have anything like that. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to look through all of their shopping carts myself. Um, thinking maybe it was in a shopping cart and a stack of shopping carts and it got wheeled in with the rest of them in the, in the morning or late at night and nobody pulled the bag out. Either way, if they don't have it then I suppose I'll have to break down and buy more. But that would be a shame. So I'm going to go do that now. Well I'm back from Lowe's. Success, well, not in the way you think. I didn't find them, but I went inside and I talked to the people at the customer service department and explained what happened, and they looked around, couldn't find anything. And, uh, of course, the lady asked me if I had my receipt, and I said, no, I, I don't have that. It's probably in the bag that was in the cart that who knows what happened to. I said, but I do have it. I bought it on my credit card, and you can look it up that way that I bought it. And so she said, well, why don't you go pick out the items that were in the bag and bring them up here and we'll see what we can do. So I did. I went and got the uh, staples, the 18 gauge staples for the air stapler and the staples for the garden fabric. And I took them back to her Then she asked me what time I was there. And I said, well, it was between probably 7.45 and 8 o'clock. And she says, oh, okay. She says, I was on break at that time. That would have been so-and-so. Let me go talk to so-and-so. And she grabbed the staples from me and took off around the corner and came back. And I said, well, I says, the, the gal I talked to was, uh, had light brown hair or blonde hair. Real nice, the gal. Uh, that's the one I talked to last night that checked us out. And she said, yes. And she said, if you had a receipt, you could just walk right out, no problem. But let me look up your credit card. And so she looked up my credit card and confirmed time and all of that stuff and saw that I had been straight up through the whole purpose and she handed them back to me and she said have a nice day so there you go i didn't have to buy them again and i got staples and staples so <laughs> let's get on it with the garden
Okay, that was pretty tough. Um, holding that wire back, it wanted to keep coiling back up on us. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good. Lee, you did pretty good. It's really hard working with chicken wire. I guess we just assumed it would just lay flat and perfect, but it didn't. It kind of got a little puckery there. We were starting to get a little offline, but we fixed everything, and I think it looks really good. And it's going to keep the critters out, which is a really good thing. And so, uh, you know what though? I need to go over there and stitch up the side where I cut the the um, excuse me where I cut the screen over there. I need to go and sew it up. It's just a little bitty um, cut, about yay much, and um, so we'll take care of that. And uh, while he's finishing the stapling over here. Okay, that's all finished and you might have seen me um, s stop and then start again. I tried to say something but the mic was off so I'm saying it now. That ended up being this big. The reason I thought it was this big was because there it did end there but that it skipped about yay much and then it was a slice, pretty big size, then it skipped again in a slice so I ended up having to sew about yay much. So good thing I caught it because that surely would have done um, a bad thing. And so now it's bend it and uh, we're going to put the chicken wire on this side now. Well, now comes the task of unwrapping this. If it's anything like the other one, it's going to be a while. made it all the way around and we're at this corner. Now what? <laughs> I'm going to have to trim this up and make it so that I can get this one around it and not look too ugly. It's all up except for the front door. I still need to do that and I need to trim the excess off the top. So um, I think I'm going to do that first. Trim the excess. Then I'll do the front door. Gets me off my knees for a little bit.
bent over, but off my knees. Well, okay, that finishes the uh, chicken wire on the sides and the back. I still have to put the chicken wire on the front door. We'll get that another time. But thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on the Homestead.